This is the story that will tell you everything that glitters isn't gold. It's definitely quite one of those adventures in which I was even surprised at how this managed to transpire. I gotta be honest, when I'm mining from now on, I'm going to make sure that whichever ore I take home is always thoroughly checked. So, you know how in Minecraft you mine and you just mine and you don't really think much about what you take home? This wasn't the case. You see, I installed a mod which allowed me to have different secret ores. Now, of course, I was just thinking, why not spice up the original Minecraft adventure by having a few different things that I could look for? Maybe I could find something that could really, truly change the game. I did, and it definitely did change my game. So, as you guys can see, this was the mining adventure in which started out this crazy thing. So, I started out by mining, and you're probably wondering, how does this relate to a scary creature? Well, I managed to find this ore. Now, the ore that I managed to find doesn't exist in the traditional version of Minecraft, which means it's exceedingly rare and very strange. But that isn't good, because it's not just wanted by me, it's wanted by others too. And at the time, I didn't really know that. I didn't really know what I had stumbled across. I was just simply excited. So, of course, I was on my mining adventure, I took the ore home, and then things started to be very, very strange. So, after getting myself out of this place, I realized that whatever ore I had and whatever ores I had, they were definitely part of a new adventure. I wasn't really sure what I could build. I know that some of them I could build axes, some I could build pickaxes, but I knew that some could potentially give me maybe a jetpack or some kind of nuclear crazy weapon. So I decided that these were going to be kept in my most special and most private chest. Now, at the time, I now know that I wish I did this straight away. But of course, at the time, I didn't know that. So after making some of the materials and then making myself very, very handsomely rich, I decided that I would make sure that I looked and examined this specific ore. As you guys can see right there, it was called unobtainium. Now this meant that it was very hard to obtain. I didn't know that at the start, I just thought that it was pretty cool. But as you can see, I only actually had one block. The previous ones that I had made, I'd already used them to make myself a super fast pickaxe because my logic, my logic was that if I managed to make it into a pickaxe, then maybe I could find more. Little did I know, how rare this material was and how sought after it was. So after coming home and then going to sleep, this is when crazy things started to happen. So of course the unobtainium was my prized possession. This was something that I truly wanted to have with me. But I realized soon enough that I wasn't the only one that wanted this material. There were others too. Now, of course, as you can all see, this is exactly what I was talking about. As it managed to get to daytime, I noticed something was outside my window. As you're about to see, the moment I looked out of my window, I noticed a very strange figure. At first, it was weird because it wasn't even an actual character. The strangest thing about this entire encounter was that it was simply just a face. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the creepiest thing I have ever seen in my 10 years of playing this game. And trust me when I say, you wouldn't want to see any more of this. I didn't exactly know how on earth I was going to particularly maneuver around this very strange individual, but I did know that if I wasn't fast or if I wasn't protective enough, my house would become death's ground. You see, unfortunately, my house wasn't that protected. I mean, I did have a fence gate, but as you can see, this creature had a very weird smile with the red eyes and not even a physical body. So I knew that this creature, whatever it was, whatever it was doing, it could definitely breach my house and come inside very quickly. I mean, my doors were wooden, they could be opened by anyone, and the room that I had, it was even stranger. You see, as I went to my very secure vault, I noticed that there was a very weird villager who was holding the exact same item that I was, and he was noticeably smaller than usual, which meant that this villager wasn't really like some kind of, I guess you could say, big villager. He was like a baby villager, which is definitely very interesting. He then said, I was chased out of my village. And of course, I wondered, why would he be chased out of his village? What did he do that was that bad that they needed to get rid of him completely? He said, these creatures want this precious ore. Now, of course, as you guys could see right here, it was that moment in which I knew that was the reason why these creatures wanted me. As you guys could see, he said, I'm not sure why. Now, of course, I wasn't sure why either. 
I was truly stuck on what was going on. But of course, as you guys can see, I decided to go to his village because of course, the baby villager told me just how dangerous and just how fast these villagers were. So of course, I got my iron axe and I decided to get myself ahead to see if I could find myself exactly what was going on. So of course, I decided to open this up and go down here and see if I could figure out exactly what was going on. Now, this was the truly scary part. In this area, this wasn't even my armory. This villager had come in and had somehow managed to build this armor just in case I had ever faced this. I didn't know how much mining this little guy had done, but clearly he'd done quite a bit. So I'd made a new friend. I'd made someone on my companion, but I was wondering why is he not wearing iron armor as well? I don't know exactly what was going on, but he definitely had a lot more materials than I could ever think of. So I decided that after grabbing these materials, that I would head straight back to the village to see exactly what was going on. Now in this door, I don't know what kept happening, but I wasn't sure if it was the creatures infecting my game with some kind of game breaking code, or if it was the small villager who had protected me in this light space. Either way, I used my unobtainium, managed to break through this, and decided to go through this secret tunnel. You see, we couldn't go outside as we normally would. The problem was, is that if we went outside if we normally would, we would have had to face that creature. And the problem is, that creature is extraordinarily dangerous and strong. So of course, we had to make sure that we went through this underground tunnel. Now, I wasn't sure how he even built this underground tunnel because of course, as you guys can see, there were many different ores in it. There was even a mob spawner. There were, there was even a very, very huge ravine, which I wasn't exactly sure how he had managed to cross. But of course, as you guys can see, I had to traverse this ravine with the help of some cobblestone because that was the only way in which I could be there. So of course, he decided to follow me along and luckily, we did manage to make it to the village just in time. So when I made it to the village, I was actually quite scared because he had been chased out allegedly by his own villagers and the creatures themselves. Maybe it was the fact that he was holding on to said item, the reason these villagers didn't want him in, in, their, in their presence, I guess you could say. So I decided that I would make sure that whatever I did would help this villager out. And this villager scared me even more. He said that the creature is looking for us too. And I wasn't really sure why he called it a creature because it didn't even seem like a creature. He said we need to hide. And like I said, this guy didn't even have a face. It was just two eyes and a mouth. He also said that we need to hide. Now, of course I did want to hide, but I wasn't hell bent on hiding because I knew that it was inevitable that they were going to find me. Sooner or later, one of the villagers were going to spill the beans as to where we were hiding. So I knew that we needed to develop some kind of trap, some kind of plan that would protect us from what this is. So I decided to get myself some iron, decided to get myself some TNT, and I hatched the master plan. The master plan was essentially, all I needed to do was to get the TNT, place it in an area in which that creature would be, and then once he's there, use some kind of activation to blow it up. Now, of course, this was just a theory. I wasn't sure that this was going to work, but either way, I was destined to make sure that this plan had worked. And of course, as you guys can see, this is exactly what I did. So I used my TNT, I placed it around as you guys can see, and trust me, this definitely took a long time, especially since there were other villagers who were worried about this, but it wasn't that hard to convince them that I was going to get rid of their major problem forever. So as you guys can see right here, this was the master plan at stake. As you can all see, I decided to leave the unobtainium right above the TNT simply because this was going to be the entire plan. All I'd need to do is leave them with exactly what they wanted, but not in a place that they wanted. Eventually, he would somehow go there, and then once they're there, all I would need to do was ignite the TNT. Now, of course, as you guys can see, the moment nighttime came, this crazy creature managed to steal the unobtainium. He quickly and quietly managed to get this unobtainium. And of course, I wasn't really that shocked. I wasn't really that careful. I didn't really care that much, but I knew that my next stage of the plan was going to commence. So I decided to make sure that the villagers were okay. And I decided to sneak around this village and see if I could ignite the TNT without him watching. I don't know how he didn't see me at first. Maybe his vision is very poorly, hence the red in his eyes, but I decided to ignite this TNT. Now I knew I needed to go back because sometimes TNT flings away, but this time I got super lucky and the TNT didn't hit me at all. 
and actually managed to explode every single fiber of that creature's being and blast it to smithereens. It was actually quite a spectacle. Luckily for me, my little buddy villager managed to save the day as well and scamper out of there 